Hey friends, welcome back. I hope you're doing so well today. Now today we're gonna be taking a look at orange juice and coffee. Now I know what you're thinking, orange juice? Orange juice and coffee, Kyle? I, I, that's a hard pass. You, you'll watch this video maybe, but will you try it? No? Now, if you thought like this, or maybe you think like this right now, well, we have something in common. Uh, but today I'm gonna try this because that's fun, but also because I wanna open up my experiences, try something new. Now, that's because orange juice mixed with coffee is not only an acceptable practice, but a norm in many cultures, just not here in Canada. Canadian? No! Uh, I've read that in France, this is a beverage that the French often practice with their coffee. And in Arizona, this beverage goes by many different names. You know, at one shop, it's known as the OJ Express, and another, a Good Morning Vietnam, and my personal favorite, Sproj. Nice. But regardless of what it's called, the premise of the drink is the same. A tall glass of cold orange juice topped with a floater of hot espresso. Starting with a cold glass of OJ, coffee is gently poured into a cup, giving the drink a distinctive layered look, neon orange on the bottom with chocolatey brown on top. So today we're gonna make this beverage. I'm gonna teach you uh, how to make it and then maybe make some adjustments based on how it turns out. Now I've been told, like I said, I'm gonna love this or at least enjoy it. So uh, let's make it. Now for the first attempt, here I'm gonna just use this glass here every time I see this online people use nice tall glasses so we're gonna try this and it doesn't say exactly how much orange juice to use so uh, we're gonna eyeball this uh, getting a little crazy here but we're gonna use you know probably about a cup already I'm frustrated because I know that this is going to be vastly in consistent because well how much orange juice did I just pour in here anyways that's what the recipe calls for a tall glass of orange juice topped with some ice and then we're gonna brew an espresso so today I'm gonna brew this espresso blend from 49th parallel in Vancouver Canada and it's their epic espresso blend let's try it out Okay, we've got our espresso, beautiful espresso. This was a two to one ratio for those who care, for those who are coffee nerds like myself. Coffee. Nerd! 18 grams of coffee in the basket and got 36 grams yield out of the machine. So a uh, pretty traditional espresso shot, again, for those who care. And we're going to slowly pour this espresso over top of the orange juice. Okay, we just made the most repulsive mess I've ever seen. Look at that. Nothing about the color of this beverage seems appetizing to me. It's like the color brown that you would have when you mix dairy with your coffee, but it's translucent. It's... Mm. Not what I was expecting. I think this can be better though, and we're gonna adjust this in a second, but what I get initially is a lot of orange juice. I think the ratios played into that for sure. And uh, just a hint of coffee. Now saying that out loud, it sounds disgusting, but this is fascinating. What it reminds me most of, espresso over tonic. It's got that citrusy acidity, and obviously the coffee's a bit acidic too, based on the light roast that I brewed. That would be a good summer breakfast drink, but I think we can do it better. I was pretty convinced going into this that the ratios would be way off on this. And uh, sure, at home you might you might wanna just eyeball it because for you, a beverage like this, it's not the end all be all. So you'll just kind of play around with the ratios and eyeball it. Uh, for a coffee nerd like me and many who watch this channel, we're not okay with this. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to measure out, uh, we're gonna use this much smaller cup first of all. Okay, so we're gonna measure out 120 grams of espresso. And what we're gonna try to do is one part espresso to three parts orange juice. Now for this, I'm gonna brew a pretty traditional espresso shot, something like a one to two ratio. So I'm gonna brew about 36 to 40 grams of, uh, of espresso. Fantastic, okay. Now why this ratio for orange juice to espresso? Well, we're gonna try this out, but I'm pretty convinced that a lower ratio of orange juice will allow us taste that coffee a little bit more, give us a beverage that is more defined. Right now, for this one here, it's not bad. There's just a lot of orange juice. It's just a little overwhelming. And for some people, this might just be the way to go if you don't like that, that punch of coffee. That looks fantastic. What's interesting about this is if you look closely, you probably can't see it on this camera, there's 
very small particles of coffee actually falling down from the espresso. It's just kind of beautiful that it's happening here. So while I'd like to drink it like this, it won't taste the best. So we will stir this up. Still looks repulsive by the way. Oh, that's interesting. What I'm finding is I was expecting a larger coffee taste and there is to a degree, but there's a lot less acidity. You know, going with this much orange juice, the acidity is just, uh, it hits the side of your, your mouth. It just gives that sour, undesirable taste that you'd want with a coffee. This one tastes very balanced. If you try this at home, let me know in the comments down below what your results are. This, it almost tastes like the coffee and orange juice combat each other and bring a well-balanced cup. It's, it's fascinating. Honestly, nothing of what I expected. Try it out, let me know. Is this something that you're gonna try? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below or if you think this is the most disgusting thing you've ever seen, also let me know down below. I'd love to see the ratios of how many people are actually gonna try this out. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. We'll see you guys all in the next video. I love you all, have a wonderful day, bye.